Saudi authority adopts Gregorian calendar as far-reaching economic reforms. Militants begin to surrender their arms. Sultan of Sokoto urged Nigerian youths to foster peaceful coexistence in their daily interactions. Experts say is food seasoning detrimental to health. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to iMedia News. I am Toibat Anifoshi. Now the news in details. A recent decision made by the Council of Ministers in Saudi Arabia to adopt the Gregorian calendar has generated various reactions among Muslims nationwide. The Gregorian calendar was adopted for payment of salaries, wages, bonuses and allowances to civil sector employees. This decision will bring the government sector in line with the payment of wages in the private sector as part of austerity measure to save the economy from recession. It should be noted that recession is a major issue affecting all producing countries in the world, including Nigeria, and Saudi Arabia was hit with a record deficit last year on all sales after global prices collapsed by more than half since 2013, forcing the government to jettison the Hijri calendar, which consists of 12 months of 29 or 30 days, depending on the sighting of the moon. This implies that the Hijri calendar is shorter than the Gregorian calendar and adopting this calendar will assist the government in rationalizing its budgeted expenditures. Since uh, they are trying to, to harmonize uh, this uh, economic uh, recession, I think it's a good idea. It's a good idea and also they are indirectly telling us that uh, they, are, they are open to everybody. Then adopting the, uh, the Gregorian calendar, they want to show that they are not partial, they are not doing with uh, Islamic only. Colonial time that we are. Eh? If they realize the other calendar, eh? it is giving them some lapses. Eh? Or the, the world is not moving together with, with the, the region there. Eh? There is no harm in changing, following the other one that uh, the rest are following. If the entire Muslim, whether in Saudi Arabia, whether in anywhere, eh? we have adopted. We have that, that uh, Islamic calendar with us, eh? and it is in our mind. And we always celebrate when the time reach, and we cannot uh, leave it. Well, many Nigerians have been advised to render arms of assistance to the internally displaced persons across various camps in the country. This was stated by the Coordinator Secretary of Nigerians United for Sustainable Action on IDP's engineer Adamu Aliyu in an in-house program on iMedia TV, Leadership, Enterprise and Communications. He expressed concern on the deplorable state of the IDP camps, especially the ones located at the northeastern part of the country. Hardly pass a town or a village that has not been destroyed. When I say destroyed, I mean it's either completely destroyed or at least a significant majority of it has been destroyed. Or at minimum, the most important infrastructure, the hospital, the school, the, the law government secretariat, whatever that's there, the police station, and most likely the marketplace. These internal displaced persons are not really all of them in a camp, no. At the time we went, there were about 27 different camps in Meduguri alone. And these camps range between 4,000 to 18,000 residents. That's within Boru. In Baba recently, they said there were 27,000 internally displaced persons in the camp. This is to give you an idea of how huge the problem is in terms of numbers. But all this, like I said, is just like 20 to 25 percent of the total number of internally displaced persons. Now, what can we do as individuals, as communities, as groupings? Let us come in as professionals. Let us come in and take up. If, let's say, the mosque you have here. This uh, Amur Masjid can say, okay, let's go and rehabilitate a village. Give them some support so that they can go back to that village. If it's just one village, that will make an impact. The federal government demand of militants to surrender their arms in 60 days has started to show effects as a group of militants surrender their weapons to the river state's government. 
This was followed by the inauguration of River State Amnesty Program Committee, where Governor Insum Wiki had issued a 60-day ultimatum to militants in the region to surrender their weapons or face military action. The governor further assured that the surrendered militants who have followed the laid-down processes for amnesty will not be persecuted. The Sultan of Sokoto, Al Haji Sa'ad Abu Bakr, has deemed the act of suicide bombing and killing, especially by the Boko Haram sect, as both inhumane and un Islamic. This message was shared with the popular musicians Two Face Idibia and Sound Sultan, who visited the Sultanate recently in Sokoto State. The Sultan urged the musicians who were in Sokoto State for the campaign for peace in Sokoto to continue to promote peace and peaceful coexistence among Nigerian youths. He further appealed to the youths to shun selfish politicians who use them as tools in wrecking and destabilizing the peace of the country. Food spiced with various seasoning can really taste great, but the health implications could be unbearable. Seasoning are substances used in enhancing the taste of our meals, especially by making it savory and delicious. However, most food seasonings commonly found in local stores contain a substance called monosodium glutamate, which is a silent killer that could lead to brain damage. A specialist, Hajia Kafilat Onanuga, has advised people to desist from its consumption as it is detrimental to one's health. She has also advised people, especially women, to use natural seasoning as alternative in cooking. Desist from using monosodium glutamate. Instead, we should use our normal spices like garlic, ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, fennel, cardamom and so many things that will be beneficial to. All these are natural things. These are nature, you know, things we get from nature. While some women opine that food seasoning should be avoided in cooking, some, however, have a contrary opinion. Sometimes I use my, I do my local soup, which my family, even my husband prefers it. I use the local beans, both the fresh one and the dried one with the palm oil, salt and pepper. That's all I use. And crayfish. I use crayfish a lot. We go for the normal locust beans. It's a, it's a seasoning. Then enough, enough uh, onions. The only thing food seasoning does to food is just to make it maybe smell well or taste well. So the alternative is maybe enough onions and uh, less of those artificial, artificial things. You can do away without using those spices. Okay. You understand? Like me, if I want to cook now, apart from just few of them that I use, I don't always use SS curries and the rest. But I know that I can't really do without my mangi, but I try to reduce the consumption of it. Now we know it's advisable to use natural seasoning instead of the processed ones. Well, with that, we've come to the end of iMedia News today. Don't forget to visit our website on www.imediatv.tv. You can also download our app on Google Play Store. I remain Toy Bat and Ifoshi saying, Assalamu.